problem 1435, reporting liabilities and then calculating the debt to equity ratio. So it says the accounting records of router wireless includes the following as of the end of the year. Report these liabilities on the balance sheet. So we're going to be doing just the um, liability section as a partial balance sheet. And we're going to include headings as usual for li current liabilities and long-term liabilities. And then our second requirement is we will, we will calculate the company's debt to equity ratio. So we need our headings, current liabilities, long-term liabilities. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to work our way down here and find our current liabilities. We've got AP. 69,000, interest payable. Interest has to be paid within the next 12 months, 21,000. We've got bonds payable, that's long-term. Equity salaries payable, that is definitely a current liability, will be paid within the next 12 months. We have the current portion of bonds payable. So some of our bonds will be paid off this year. Premium, that's long-term. Under and revenue, short-term. Short-term meaning that's the current liability. And then we have our label, total current liabilities. When we do the math, add these up, we get 125,900. Now we're gonna look through here for our long-term liabilities. We got mortgages payable long-term. 75,000. We've got bonds payable long term. Sixty three thousand. And then we've got the premium on bonds payable. We will be adding that. Twenty no thirteen thousand. So that gives us seventy six thousand dollars for the carrying value of our bonds payable. Add up the mortgages payable and our carrying value of the bonds payable, and we get total long-term liabilities of 151,000. Scroll down. So we know we now need to calculate our total liabilities. So we take current and add up our long-term liabilities, we get 276,900. Now requirement two, we're gonna calculate the company's debt to equity ratio. So the formula is total liabilities divided by total stockholders equity, or total equity if it's a sole proprietorship. Total liabilities we get from here, 276,900. Total stockholders equity we get from over here, 160,000. And when we do the math, we get 1.730625. So take 276,900 divided by 160,000, we get 1.730625. But notice it says to, calc to round to two decimal places. So that gives us 1.73. And I forgot a zero. There, 160,000. That makes it easier to read. Now we're right.